Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Bija and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In this video, I am going to show you how we can change Office 365 theme. So we will see how we can change the color, how we can change a logo, how we can change the, uh, how we can set a background image. So these things we will check it. So without further delay, let me open that. Okay. Meanwhile, if you want, if you are interested for uh, SharePoint, learn to learn SharePoint, uh, then I have some SharePoint training courses uh, for SharePoint developers as well as SharePoint site owners. So I will put this URL in, in, in the comment section of the video and you can check out the trainings. And you will get also in a very good discounted price if you go for the SharePoint training bundle course. So now let me open my uh, Microsoft 365 admin center. So I'll uh, say admin.microsoft.com and uh, if you have uh, if you have not logged in then it will ask you to enter your uh, username and password for this and uh, then uh, you click on show all if you do not see the setting option here now click on the settings option and then you can see here the last uh, middle one it is sec uh, settings and uh, then you can uh, go for uh, 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 organization profile and oops not in yeah organization profile and then you can see here custom themes click on that and here you can see uh, various options on this and also it pro it will provide some of the best practices on that so now first of all we can set a custom logo image so if you'll see here now our office 365 or this uh, there is no logo on this so i will just click on this you can use a image url uh, if you have anywhere in the sharepoint or somewhere you can put a image url else you can upload an image so when you are uploading an image it should be uh, uh, 200 into 30 pixel and it should not more than 10 kb so i'll click on browse and I have a logo so hopefully it will uh, yeah you can see here it is uh, uh, below uh, 10 KB so I put this image and uh, let, let's just save it and we will see how it is appearing so now you can see here I will just close it probably we have to just refresh once so let me just go to the home page again I will or let, let's just open once again Ideally, we should see the logo. You can see here. Uh, now the logo is appearing here, and you can actually make it clickable, and you can provide an URL for that. Uh, for example, I have a uh, SharePoint site URL, so let me just copy this uh, uh, um, SharePoint site URL. So I will just go over here, or we can give uh, this SharePoint uh, admin URL also, and it's up to you what URL you want to give. Let's say we will give this URL our home page url let's say we will give so i will go again so all and the settings page so settings and here again go to the organization profile custom themes and you can see here there's the image and you can make uh, this uh, uh, clickable so i'll put this url so next time what will happen it will go there and then you can set a background image for this so your office 365 you can set a background image for that so i'll click on browse and i will set a background image remember this should not be again it should not be more than uh, 15 kb so i'll click on open uh, so let me just see the image so i have just changed the image a little bit so i have taken this one so you can see here now it is taking um, and uh, then you can see here the background color change it's a background image uh, now becoming like this and uh, then if you'll see here uh, we can change the navigation bar color so if you'll see here if I want to make it to uh, uh, blue you can see here and you can see the changes actually it is reflecting over here so I will make uh, that one let's say we will take a little this one so I'll make it to green and uh, so this will be the uh, nav color and the text color so you can see here now it is white so if you want to change it you can change that um, the, this color we can change it to probably into red or something so you can see here i'll make it to red and uh, so this is the color that we set 
and also you can also prevent users from overriding the theme so that they cannot override and if you want to display uh, the user name so you can just select it so if you will select it then the user name will be uh, displayed uh, there and uh, then click on save changes so once you will do that uh, now the changes will be saved so you can see here it is saved now um, let us open in a new tab so i'll go here i will say admin.microsoft.com uh, now you can see here our logo and in the background image and here is the username so you can see here the username is appearing here so if you have a, a, um, a larger username or the username is little back so it will be truncated truncated means something will be shown and in over you can see the details so you can see here this is how we can change uh, the theme and uh, you can see here uh, uh, things has been changed now the color also you can see here it is changed the, uh, the you can see here this color we have we took red so this is how it is appearing so this is how we can change theme of uh, office 365 so if you write if you like our videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint office 365 uh, power bi power apps azure so all these things you will get and this is our twitter handles our website and facebook and linkedin details so subscribe do like comments and subscribe to our youtube channel so have a nice day